For this one, everyone needs to stand up, actually. Up, up. Come on. Move your feet. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for doing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm going to ask a favor of you. If you can turn to the person sitting next to you and just ask them, how can I help you? I'd really appreciate it. You see, the entire reason that we're building open time is to bring people together. Only those of you that are here today will experience this in person. Let me see here, sorry. All right. We were going to put a fancy slide up there to tell you that, you know, we have 270 downloads. We've just signed our first enterprise customer. We're raising money. But probably what would happen is that you would leave and forget all that. But the one statistic for those of you out there that like numbers, I can give you is 7 billion people are either part of a community or are going to be part of a community sometime in the future. So what does open time do? Open time allows people to strengthen the relationships with people in their community. And we do this through our mobile application and our online web services. As of right now, um, how many people in the room have open time? Hands up. Look around you guys. It's your community. They're on. David, broadcast your availability. It'll go all the way across here. Oh, yeah. um, we would like to let you know also that we have partnered with Dallas Startup Week. So the cards that you received when you came in, if you join the group now, what will happen is that after Startup Week, you will be able to meet up with people that were at the event and continue the conversation. So I'm going to wrap it up here and open for Q&A. Is it just a coincidence that you have a time management platform and that was an extremely efficient pitch? Absol so we believe in two things. Number one, an emotional approach. And number two, always give back time to the community. OK, so I get that. Like when I talk to you, I get the time management perspective of it that mm -hmm. you first. And then mm -hmm. tonight I learned of the community. So can you describe a little bit how managing my time helps me connect to the community. Sure. So there are two barriers, if you will, to meeting people in your community. One is a time aspect. So when is Aaron available? And then number two is fear. So 80% of people associate with being shy. So if I want to talk to Aaron, if you will, and say, you know, I wonder if she'd be open to meet me for a cup of coffee. People I know that are afraid to talk to Michael because they think he's really busy and never want to approach him. Tyler was here earlier. I love his tattoos and his beard. But, you know, I'm kinda, I, I, I don't know when he's available. I'd love to chat with him and find out how I can get bigger and stronger, too. But I just don't know. These are people in my community that I want to meet with, but I have the fear of asking. So the two barriers that we solve are time and fear. Any other questions? Yes, Fiona. So there's an app called Sunrise who does this pretty efficiently already and um, already has a wide user base. What do you offer that they don't? So Sunrise is really good. Um, they got bought by Microsoft last year, I think February. Um, Microsoft is trying to sunset the idea. Uh, Sunrise from, from, from Microsoft. Um, my, Sunrise is more of a one-on-one. -on -one. We are a one-to-many, if you will. We allow closed groups. 
And so this could be a DNT group, if you will. It could be a big DOCC group. It could be a CPA group. So that's how we differentiate from Sunrise. Like, there are the... Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, David. What's next for open time? So right now, I can post my availability. Correct. And other people can find me. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're starting the, the new community chapter. Correct. Uh, so we have what's, three, what's three, coming next? three yeah. pillars, essentially. We have the availability, we have groups, and we have location. So David is available in Dallas on Tuesday evening between 7 and 9 p.m. to his DNT group. So th those are the three pillars we're working on. We've got the availability down, we're working on groups right now, and then we'll have location. Richard, I was waiting for your question. <laughs> Don't want to disappoint. So um, you, you say like location is coming because I was just imagining like I'm broadcasting my time and everybody can see that all I do is sit at home on my couch. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, like can people actually track me right now? Like will they be able to like... People besides yeah. AT&T and your provider and your iPhone besides, yeah, like besides other those users. people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one, can one more person track you? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> but, but if you imagine if you use Uber our vision is that eventually when you open up your app and you look at open time, you will see fellow open timers around you. Eventually, if you make yourself public, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Do you want it to? All right then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Questions? All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.